our workout today was surfer strength, and uh, we did some simulated swimming exercises and some balance moves and things that would be good leg training, everything to uh, help surfers. Um, so that was great, that was fun, and so I chose our topic of today to be aqua sports, aqua fitness, and why working out in the water is good, who's it good for, all that kind of stuff. Um, so aqua fitness, water aerobics, different kinds of running in the water, um, all of those are very good. It's a totally different kind of workout than a workout on the land. Because uh, the water dense, the water is more dense than the air. So let's say you're on the ground and you're doing a regular jumping jack. You are getting some resistance from the air, but it's very light. You know, the air resistance is light as air. Um, <laughs> silly as that sounds. But uh, you're getting a little bit of resistance, but it's not so much. If you're trying to do the same thing underwater, in the water, you're going to get like ten times more resistance. Um, because the water is actually it's all around your body, and like I said, it's it's thicker. Water is thicker than air, and it takes more work for your arm to get through the water than it does the air. So that's one benefit of water sports is uh, or water fitness, aqua fitness, is that you get a, a different kind of natural resistance, and it's all encompassing because you're pretty much submerged in the water. And you know you're trying to do your exercises, and you have to get through. You have to cut that resistance in order to, uh, well, in order to move your arms around. You got to work through. You have to work through each molecule of the water. You have to get through it um, in order to complete your exercise. And so the good thing about that is that you don't really need a lot of weights. You don't need a lot of equipment to be in the water and do a great workout. Um, if you just, if you're not into swimming, you don't have to swim to be in aqua, in aqua sports. Um, you can jog across the pool, and actually if you're jogging across the pool, if you're trying to jog through the water, you're not going to get very, <laughs> you're not going to be able to go very fast, and that's because you have to cut through all of that resistance. It's a much harder workout than, than jogging on land, because you have to cut through all of that stuff in order to make your fitness happen. Um, but it's not necessarily a tougher workout on your joints. Aqua fitness is really good for people that are severely overweight, people that have joint or, or um, joint problems, things in their knees, any kind of thing that limits you from putting high impact on your, on your body. The nice thing about water is that it absorbs a lot of the shock on your body because you, you're buoyant. You have buoyancy, which means that you're like floating in the water. So if you are, if you're chest high in the water, you are having 90% of your body weight, of that weight of the impact taken away uh, because you're in the water and you know, you're, you're floating. So half of you is covered and this part isn't. So your body is 90% buoyant, meaning that you know only 10% of you is sticking out of the water. The rest of you is submerged, and it's getting that extra water resistance. So it's good for people that you know can't. If you're extremely obese and you can't uh, you can't walk from here to there, then you need to get into the pool and start doing your stuff so that you can start dropping some of the weight because you will drop weight fast if you're doing aqua fitness and you're an overweight person. Just getting in that pool, doing three laps around the pool. You know, I challenge you, if you are an overweight person, just get in the pool, do three big laps around every day just to start. And then when you get more creative, you can start doing little jazzercise moves in the pool. Because <laughs> you can, you, do, you can do jumping jacks. Everything that we do, almost, out here, <laughs> at least the cardio portions, everything that we do that's standing up and jumping around, you can do in the pool. Um, there's no reason why you can't. And like I said, it actually is going to work you a little bit harder and you're not going to realize it. The other good thing about aqua fitness is that the water, has a cool, the water has a cooling and a massaging effect. So you don't realize it, but while you're doing, while you're doing your stuff in the water, you're getting a little tiny massage from the water mo molecules all over your body. Just from those little waves. Just from those little waves. And it's actually healing 
for you and your body to have the, that little massage all, all around, the waves lapping up on you and stuff. It's good, that's good for you. And then the other thing too is that it has a cooling effect. So, you know, like today, I'm, I'm soaked with sweat from our workout. And if we were doing this in water, I would still have sweat, but I wouldn't have known it because I'm in the water and I'm already wet and uh, the water is cooling. So, well, you don't perspire as much in the water. You still get a workout. You still get your endorphins going, but you don't get this, you know, you don't get this sticky, icky kind of sweat that you do when you do a land workout. Um, so those are, those are, those are the things. Those are the good points about aqua fitness, aqua sports, aqua aerobics, is that, you know, it's cooling, massaging, it's great for rehabilitation. So if any of you guys out there ever injure yourself, or again, like if you are an extreme beginner, or an, an, an obese person that has joint issues that can't walk very far, or can't, you know, if, if, the thought of going to an hour-long aerobics class and standing, if just standing for an hour is like, you know, oh my god, I won't be able to do that. If you're that overweight, get into the pool because 90% of that weight that you have is going to be lifted off your body just by being in the water. So you're going to be a bunch lighter and you'll be able to do a whole bunch more things. So you'll be able to swim, you'll be able to run, you'll be able to do a whole hour-long fitness class in the water um, because you won't have that pressure uh, you won't have that pressure on your joints um, so cooling oh it's fun too it's good to switch things up um, if you're you know out out laying around by the pool one day the summer's coming it is it's getting nice out if you have a pool or a community pool that you can go to lay out in the sun for a little then get in and do 10 minutes just walking back and forth in the pool I mean, you can burn off a whole, I mean, if, if you're like me, relaxing by the pool on vacation and you've got the pina colada or something, you know, you got to work, work off that pina colada, so get in the pool, do 10 laps, and you know, you've, you've, you've worked it off, you know, saying goodbye, goodbye pina colada, it was nice knowing you, in and out, um, you just got to keep, you know, get, get your fitness in, try to incorporate some aqua stuff, sneak it in. You know, if you don't want to do a whole hour-long aqua workout, like I said, just while you're laying around the pool, relaxing on your nice Sunday, get in the pool and do a few laps. Use your arms, use your legs, just jog through the water even. It's going to be, it's going to be a unique and challenging workout for you, and it's also going to be really effective. Again, because you're getting, you're getting resistance the whole entire time that you're in the water, and it's much different than air resistance. And you're going to feel, your body's going to feel different after you've completed an aqua workout. So, um, that's it for today. I'm going to sign off. Next week, our workout is super special. It is a dedicated workout to Sandra in Germany, who's been following me. It's called Femme Fatale Fitness. And she wrote in requesting special workout for her. And so I've made one. Uh, it's going to be chest exercises. We're going to use a lot of equipment because...